The war in the Pentecostal Church of Omega Power Ministry, OPM, led by Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, is getting hot as various dirty allegations were made as regards the church general overseer. The cleric, whose church headquarters is based in Port Harcourt, was first accused by Matthew Precious Kelechi and Amako Johnson, both known as Happy Boys, who made headlines last July that the OPM pastor abandoned them after flying them to Cyprus. According to the boys, the popular cleric sponsored them to Cyprus, but following the expiration of their scholarship, the man of God refused to sponsor them as he asked them to return to Nigeria. In a shocking development, the Abbey Boys allegedly revealed some of the misconduct and questionable practices associated with the man of God. Some of the allegations is that Apostle Chibu Zochinyere is engaging in cannibalism and obtaining miraculous powers from India. They also accused him of having carnal knowledge of a 14-year-old girl and impregnating her. The allegation, which comes from a message they received on their social media page from an anonymous social media user, was screenshot and posted by the Happy Boys on their own Instagram page, which appears to indicate their agreement with the allegations. Mocking the 50-year-old cleric, the boys stated on their post that they do not want further help from him and his church offering used to send them to Cyprus. In response to the allegations, in anger, the furious cleric from Abia State placed curses on the young man in a voice note, which was shared by the boys on Instagram. I placed this curse from the pain in my heart that doing good become evil. Whosoever, no matter who that person is, that I use, you, you didn't pay one cobble, you didn't spend one naira. It is from often at night that people drop in the altar. What other pastors use in buying private jet? I said, let me use it to help you. Now I do you good. You use evil to pay me. You will remain poor forever. You can never achieve anything in life. As long as, whether anywhere you are, you will suffer poverty. No, you can never achieve. You can't even buy one plot of land. If there's any other things, other clothes you've bought, the, through the money I use in sending you to Cyprus, you will sell those clothes to feed. You will become so wretched. The duo later took to their Instagram page to share an apology video pleading to their fans and Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere for their wrongdoings against him. They also confirmed that the allegation was an absolute fake and programmed to gain traffic. The philanthropist cleric who runs OPM Foundation, speaking with a Port Harcourt journalist, stated that he did not abandon the boys and his inability to continue sponsoring them abroad was due to the global rise in the dollar rate. He further made it clear that the curse he made on them was done even before the boys went public with their grievances as he assured that he had forgiven the boys despite what they did to him. Also, the late Deborah's family called him out and accused him of moving them out of the new house he bought for them to a new location and abandoning them. Two weeks after the Happy Boys accusation, a Nigerian lady, simply known as Loveth, accused the general Vasia of sleeping with her severally without protection and she got pregnant. In a viral trending video, the 22-year-old lady being interviewed by a human rights activist, Daniel Ochu said the OPM cleric slept with her many times before March and April 2019 without using protection, which resulted in pregnancy. According to the lady, despite the fact that the pastor knows that she has a fiancé, Chinedu, one of the church workers, who plans to get married to her, still the cleric kept on sleeping with her as he promised to take responsibility for sponsoring her wedding. Lovett, who worked with the sanitation department of the church and stayed on and off the church premises, claimed she was 18 when they started having an affair. The lady revealed that she refused his advances at first when he insisted on sleeping with her. However, he persuaded her to comply, saying he doesn't take no for an answer and he would spend or send her packing if she refused. After much deliberation and fear of being sent away from the house, she agreed and told the cleric to use protection 
so that she wouldn't get pregnant. The lady, speaking further, revealed that the OPM pastor kept on having his way with her, even after a wedding night, till she got pregnant. The alleged baby mama noted that the OPM pastor tried to give her 10 million naira to keep quiet, but she insisted on not removing the pregnancy. She now said, but then you have to abort it. I said, I will not. He said that to you that you should abort it? Yes, he said I should abort it. I told him, I will not abort it. I made it clear to you, use protection, but you refuse. So this is the consequences of it, and I will not abort the pregnancy. Okay, come to even think of it. Day before yesterday was my wedding, and you're asking me to go for an abortion two days later. What if I don't get pregnant again? He said, don't worry. After the abortion, I'll pray for you. I said, I don't want. He said that to you? Yes. I said, I don't want. And that was it. I left him because he wanted to make an issue out of it. You have to abort it. What if you now have the baby and people get to know? I said, are you even thinking about my own life at all? What if something happens to me? He said, hey, after all, you're not the first. Hey, so many people do, must do that. Is it you that will not come? And I didn't answer him. I just walked out and I left him. She concluded that she eventually had a child who is now over three years old and her husband refused to take responsibility for the child. The human rights activist who later appealed to her husband to share his own side of the story threatened to take legal action against the clergyman if he does not contact him. The cleric, whose church was founded in 2006, reacted to the accusation on his official Facebook page that he was being blackmailed. According to him, a doctor was demanding $1 million from him, but he would not be subjected to it as he would use the money to help the less privileged. Apostle Chibuzo said the man who operates in West Africa, Europe and America made a list of some prominent Nigerians that had settled him. The general overseer with over 300 branches across Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Germany, Benin, United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates and USA said the man hated those accusing him to do so after promising them a great reward. The cleric in his statement said the doctor and his team are in partnership with Simmons University in USA, but when he reached out to the president of the university, they denied the doctor. Chibuzo said he would rather use the offering and tithes to bless more lives because that is what will make God happy. Loveth, reacting to the General Vasya's reaction on August, said she is beginning to see some lies being cooked up by the man who calls himself a man of God. She threatened that if the cleric post lies concerning her and her son, she will make sure the cleric loses his respect from his blind followers because she will open their eyes to know who is destroying their children's lives. She said, I am not great. And you should know that when I say I will do something, I will certainly do it. You said the voice call between you and I is a lie and was cloned, right? No issues. Bosha, make sure you and your team do not, by mistake, carry a lie about me, Lovett declared. Lovett added that she has been quiet and nobody should push her as she advised a cleric to speak the truth when defending himself because God is watching him from heaven as he makes a fool of himself.